All right, we're going to be watching the 2.6 live stream trailers, all of that. Let's do it. Whoa. Let's do it. Tell me, Traveler, how have your adventures been lately? With the change of season, perhaps you could consider taking time to travel and explore with friends. Inazuma will soon be holding the magnificent Iridori Festival to commemorate the Five Kasen. The Five mm. Kasen were a group of five talented poets from ancient Inazuma. It will be an international cultural festival that will leave you with many memories. It is my honor to invite you to attend the festival and enjoy the special events together. Our first hey, festival you know, in down, Inazuma! Down in. <laughs> I knew you'd be interested, Zach. <laughs> Greetings, travelers, and welcome to the Genshin Impact. There's Ayato! We get to hear his voice actor. I'm Zach Aguilar, and as many of you already know, I voice Ether in Genshin Impact. And joining me in the tea house today, we have... Hi everybody, I'm Erica Mendez, and I voice Kamisato Ayaka. Woo! Hey everybody, I'm Chris Hackney, the voice of Ayaka's brother, Kamisato Ayato. Sweet. So Hello. good to have you guys. Thanks. And looks yeah. like I get to be a part of the Kamisato clan today. <laughs> you can be our <laughs> annoying little brother. Yeah, we'll, we'll see about <laughs> hey that. Hey guys! <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> I know Erica has made a brief special appearance before, but... Okay, first, let's take a pause. Can we look at this background, this art that they have behind them? Zephyr of the Violet Garden. All right, Kamisato siblings just popping off right here, first of all. Ayaka looks so good. And then Ayato, I, I mean... Uh, I don't even know what you do with that. What what do you do with this information? Both right here, just speechless, speechless of the Kamisato siblings right now. Uh, they are gorgeous. This art is magnificent. I will cherish it forever in my life. All right, moving on. Uh, I'm excited to hear what Ayato's right now. The voice actor is like in their, their normal speaking voice. So I'm excited to see what Ayato will sound like uh, in game for sure. All right, let's continue. This is our first time officially having you both as hosts for a special program. Yeah, I did a little tour guide-ish segment back when we were showing off the Inazuma locations. So it's really cool to be able to be a part of uh, the gaggle of people at the table this time. <laughs> I'm excited. This is my first time being here, and I think this is the first time we get to introduce everyone to uh, Kamisato Ayato. So I'm stoked. Woo! Yeah. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited to have you guys and just to be able to do this. Let's get right into it because we've got a lot of exciting new content to cover today. So how about we get things started with a first look at the trailer for version 2.6? Let's do Zephyr it. Zephyr of the Violet Garden. Ooh. It's clean. Why don't you a little curious about what interesting things you might find. And it is Wow. The first is going to become quite the collectible. I've got to get my hands on it. Show. <laughs> so cute. Like a figurine. Wow. Ataki numero uno ito challenge you to all out. No holds barred. Anything goes to. All right, all right. Dang, everyone's in Inazuma. <laughs> oh, Venti. We'll need to order more dishes. Oh, I haven't seen Venti in so long. Greetings. Ayaka has mentioned you on numerous occasions. Delighted to make your acquaintance. I am head of the Kamisato clan. Kamisato Hello? Oriented. Oh. Everything's in place, and they've taken the bait. Now to start reeling them in. Oh my god. What is this art? This is... Alright, alright. If right. my suspicions regarding the portal yeah. network are correct, 
then the fact that there is a portal leading here tells us that the Abyss Order has their eyes on this location. Oh, Danesleaf? Leaf? rituals go in, they never emerge again. We getting some more Danesleaf? Leaf? Everyone's driving themselves crazy worrying about it. Maybe whatever's going on in the chasm really is connected to the Abyss Order. A whole city that's floating in the air! Upside down! Oh, More than one kind that's of interesting. power exists here. That it's highly likely that even as we speak, the Abyss Order is watching our every move. Hmm. Oh yeah. Conversation's over. Brace yourselves. Always gotta have a new rune guard thing. Oh shoot. Find a way to stop that thing. Oh. I'm feeling an archon quest. I'm feeling Dane's leaf. Uh if you have, if you have an Abyss Herald, that uh, the speaking Abyss Herald, you have Dane's Leaf. It's gonna be a good time, no matter what. That was pro proven last year. The speaking Abyss Her Herald in Economia proven then. Uh, we haven't seen Dane's Leaf since he went into that black hole thing and disappeared with our sister and that one Abyss Her Herald. So it's gonna be some good time seeing. Where he's been this entire time, I I think a lot of people felt like he fell into the Abyss Order's clutches and they have that eye now that they were going to make the mechanical god with uh, and like make it into Osile, but I don't really know if that's going down in it anymore. It looks like we got not a rune guard, uh, all the rune like uh, odd automated i can't remember the name oh, so but looks like we got a new one of those pretty epic oh, that festival man. was beautiful and then straight into the chasm and i know yeah. things got dark real fast in that trailer it's <laughs> like everybody was having a lot of fun and then it's serious time <laughs> with yeah that what? music and an introduction by kami sato ayato uh, yes uh, of course of course our <laughs> new character <laughs> And as always, speaking of Ayato, let's dive in by taking a look at our new playable character, Kamisato Ayato. Nice. I'm I'm excited for the chasm. Always looking for those underground areas. <laughs> the boba tea. <laughs> what the heck? No. Whoa, I love that. Like that after effect, that after image. Dang. Okay. Pop off, dude. Most people hunker down against a strong headwind. Only a few know how to utilize it to their advantage. Okay. Nice. Ooh, looking pretty wow. sleek. That voice, though. Crazy sound great. Powerful yet elegant. Just saying. Oh, man. I just... Oh, his moves look so cool. The elemental burst, right? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah. That, like, flashy thing in there. That's <laughs> yeah. so cool. Love it. Got a lot going on. His elegance. Nice. His fights and moves. Really, all of his animations feel very elegant to yeah. me. And yeah. Did you guys catch him drinking boba tea, too? Now look, man, I'm... <laughs> oh, man. Anytime is a good time for Boba. Just saying. I agree, but wait, wait, where, where did you even get that from? <laughs> shh, shh, shh. Kamisato Boba? family, no, Kamisato family secret. What? Huh? <laughs> if you're really wondering, in-game Ayato buys his milk tea from a little food stall in Inazuma City. I gotta find that place. <laughs> You know, but it's quirks like that that Ayato has that makes people wonder if he's kind of spoiled even though he's served as the head of the Kamisato clan for some time now. For example, 
<laughs> he always gives any defective looking food he makes to Toma and... Hey, 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 the Kami Sato clan has an image to keep up, okay? Oh, you're right. Well, I think we can all feel sorry for Toma now. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Toma. Oh. And speaking of which, the first impression many of us ever had of Ayato was actually from Ito's character teaser. He was that mysterious voice at the end of the video. Yeah. Oh. You, know, you know, actually, uh, it turns out that Ito has a pretty good opinion of Ayato. Yeah, you, you remember when, yeah, when Ayato completely overtook Ito's teaser trailer and no one cared about Artaki Ito? They only cared, cared about Ayato? Yeah, I remember that. That was, that was, that was not cool. That was not cool, Mahoyo. Hoyoverse. Whatever your name is. Not chill. Not chill. But yeah, may, but I was excited about Ayato too, so... <laughs> uh, let's just hold the phone on that one. But I'm so excited to be, see Venti. Probably Zhongli too. Zhongli's been visiting everywhere in his retirement. He was just in Mondstadt. Drinking tea. So Venti, Zhongli, and A in the same place. That would be so cute. That would be so cute if we had like a cutscene of them hanging out together, drinking sake or whatever. That would be so cute. Oh, because I don't think we've never seen a cutscene with multiple archons before. That would be pretty cool. That would be pretty cool. Not going to lie. Uh, OK, but lots of stuff going on with the chasm. I feel like I didn't actually sink it like that cut that that trailer with the chasm didn't really quite sink in i was just kind of like oh nice nice good times uh but man a lot of stuff a lot of stuff going on with the chasm dane's leaf is like the the biggest thing i mean hello the abyss order is always there causing a muck causing a ruckus you know I really, uh, his, like, flower, like, with all the, kind of look like floating flowers on the water with his burst. Very beautiful. Uh, for Ayato. Very beautiful. Pillar of Fortitude. The young but highly accomplished head of the Yashiro Commission's Kamisato clan. Cultured and polite, he is a man of many ways and means. Nice. I feel like, out of all the actual in-game like looks for the characters because sometimes it's kind of a letdown like they're i mean i think everyone's aware of this that their picture will look awesome really cool but then sometimes their in-game actual you know body in-game face design just doesn't quite live up to it so i think from what i've seen i ought to holds up like pretty good like uh that that's looking pretty good here so what i'm getting here is that he's the only new character for 2.6 that's that's i think what i am picking up maybe i mean i think that's no other character was announced Last patch, so that just that just makes sense. What am I what am I even thinking? All right, let's continue on. Learn more about Ayato. I mean, Ito even calls him bro. You know, that's interesting because I'm curious how those two could possibly get along. You know, Ito is is you know, he's real and a simple and down to earth kind of Oni, but all it takes is he a doesn't got a, from a lot going up on up here. Ito's super inspired and ready to take on any challenge. Ayato does have that effect on people. For those who don't know, he came to the position as the head of the Kamisato clan at a very young age and was able to bring the clan back to its feet while facing some huge difficulties at the time. And while we're on the subject of Ayato, Chris, why don't you give us a closer look at some of his skills? Sure, leave it to me. Kamisato Ayato wields a sword and is a master of the Kamisato art Tachijutsu, just like his sister. However, what sets him apart is his hydro vision. In combat, Ayato can unleash large AoE damage in a short amount of time and is capable of increasing the effects of his team's normal attacks. After using his elemental skill, Kamisato Art Kyoka, 
Ayato shifts positions to enter the Takimeguri Kanka state and leaves a watery illusion at his original location. The watery illusion can explode, dealing AoE hydro damage. Oh. In the Takimeguri Kanka state, Ayato's normal attacks become Shunsuiken, which are like quick watery blades capable of dealing AoE hydro damage. After a Shunsuiken attack hits an opponent, it will grant Ayato the Namisen effect, increasing the damage dealt by Shunsuiken based on Ayato's current max HP. The Takimeguri Kanka state will be cleared when Ayato leaves the field oh. or when he uses his elemental skill again. Okay, so HP. Sounds like we better be careful if we don't want to accidentally cancel a state. Exactly. Next, all right, I'll have to think that over later. Kamisato art Mine wo Matoishi Kiyotaki, which means lucid rapid spiraling the summit, in case you were wondering. With this talent, when Ayato uses his elemental skill and when the water illusion explodes, he will gain a set amount of Namisen stacks. Ayato's elemental burst, Kamisato Art Suyu, will unveil a garden of purity in which bloom water blades will rain down and attack opponents within its AoE. That's gorgeous. Ooh, sounds pretty. <laughs> gorgeous. <laughs> this will increase the normal attack damage of characters within that AoE. After unlocking another passive talent, Kamisato Art Michiyuku Hagetsu, if Ayato is not on the field and his energy is low, he will regenerate a set amount of energy at regular intervals. In daily life, Ayato's more indulgent side tends to come out from time to time. With his passive talent, Kamisato Art Daily Cooking, when Ayato cooks a dish perfectly, he has a set chance to receive an additional suspicious dish of the same type. Which I'm pretty sure he just turns and sends straight to Toma. Oh. Yup. Oh, wait! Guys, okay. I get it now. That's why Toma could eat all the strange stuff during the hot pot game before. He's had a lot of practice eating weird things. Oh, no wonder. That makes yeah. so much sense now. <laughs> In all seriousness, though, I think that the passive talent is, it's really simple, but it's pretty interesting. <laughs> all right, so let's <laughs> see. Oh, okay, yeah, Ayato, yeah, yeah, sure. new version. Yep, it's time to dive into the coming event wishes. Ayato will be available for the earlier part of version 2.6 via the Azure Excursion event wish. At the same time, mm. Venti will also be available via his own event wish called nice. Ballad in Goblets. All right, we're getting another Venti rerun! Woo! Yeah. I haven't seen that in a while. In the later part of version 2.6, Kamisato Ayaka will be returning for her first rerun. Nice. Yeah. Not surprised there. As for the new weapon event wish, travelers will see an all-new Inazuman five-star sword called mm. Harin Gepaku Futsu. So be sure to keep an eye out for that as well. Wow. In version 2. That's 6, very beautiful. Kamisato Ayato's very own story quest, oh. Cypress's Custos chapter, will also be available for travelers to play through. Okay. As the Sokoku decree has been lifted, and Inazuma is welcoming in a new era of progress. The Tenryo and Kanjo commissions are presented with a rare, joyous occasion. But beneath the surface of this happy time, trouble is stirring. As head of Trouble's the Yashiro Commission, Ayato will find himself in an unusual position. Everybody can look forward to exploring all of this amazing new story. Wow. Yeah, it's going to be really cool, especially uh, the Traveler and Ayato meeting for the very first time. Yeah. Yeah. All right. It's going to be so exciting. If you're looking Let's forward go. to playing this new story quest, then just remember to save up those story keys. You know I will. <laughs> all right. Okay. Now that we've seen the character <laughs> yeah, like, coming our way, let's jump into I need to save up story keys. I I always have maximum story keys. What are they even trying all right, we'll just we'll just let it go. Yeah. All new area travelers will be able to the explore Kazama. version 2.6. In our previous special program, we gave everyone a sneak preview of the new area called the Chasm. Mm -hmm. Let's watch a quick trailer to see what travelers can expect to encounter during their adventures in this new area. Let's go. Sure. Whoop whoop. Hmm. Very rocky. I guess you go underground. I think that is... Okay, pause here. I do think that is really cool. Oh, this kind of looks like... This is like a domain. This looks exactly like a domain, except it ha it's like missing the domain part of it. Or like the, the tree. The tree is not lit up. 
does not have life to it maybe uh that's kind of interesting or maybe it's just a new domain and i'm totally tripping right now but i think it's i'm really happy that we're going back because a year ago we left off with that archon of the seven or uh, statue of the seven we left off with that statue of the seven upside down uh in the domain it, or not in the domain let me start over a year ago we left off with Danesleaf with the statue of the seven upside down in that that uh domain area that we went into last time but we kind of just left it there and just kind of never went back to it did it ever go back in his place i don't know but i think that's cool and i'm really excited to learn more about that and we'll learn more about the abyss they say that there's an entire city that's upside down underneath the chasm in the chasm so yeah hopefully we can get some more info on that and the abyss and it sounds like we're picking up where we left off which is awesome Ooh. Oh! Whoa, 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 actually, wait, 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 wait a second. So, hold the phone. That's another. That's another. What do you call it? Nail? The. Oh, oh sorry. Oh, gosh. That's another nail. The one that's. OK, so what I'm. Yeah, another, I'm sure everyone knows, but the what do you call them? Nails? This I want to say like starstruck nail, but that's not it. The nail that struck dragon spine. So that's that's the other one. The only time we've ever seen that is this nail that they say it fell from. It's like it was a punishment from Celestia. I believe that it says in the lore somewhere on to dragon spine in the civilization there which turned it uh inhabitable and a frozen wasteland and it never the snow never melts and everything like that because this other nail struck dragon spine and so why is there a nail here why is it in the chasm why is it just floating there there's all this dark energy around this nail are they using it the abyss using it against celestia What is happening? What is going on? All right. Continuing on. Weird. Interesting. Could they use, since this is from Celestia, could the Abyss use it against them to their benefit somehow? There's a little ominous energy going around here. Interesting. Interesting. I'll keep that in mind. It's very kind of ominous, but peaceful in a way. You guys, but I can't wait to glide down the chasm. It looks <laughs> so fun. That's the first scary. thing I thought of. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Oh, my God. It's scary, goodness. but just think of all the air you'll get. <sighs> I mean, it'll be amazing to explore for sure. I yeah, know. I just don't want to run into that monster, though. Dang. It's kind of scary. So cool. It's kind of deep down there. As we saw in the trailer, the outside of the chasm is really beautiful, but there are also deep underground levels that exist far below the surface that's where all the scary stuff happens is that how you okay we talked about this earlier we talked about this in oh Shen, shenha the jade chamber story quest jade chamber rising etc we talked about that there was going to be possibly tunnels 
that connect to the chasm and possibly go to Sumeru and that there's a like a a system of tunnels across all of Tivat and that like that's how you get to Conria there's like just like pits or like holes in the ground and you go down you can pop back up like through a tunnel this kind of reminds me of that like not gonna lie uh kind of similar interesting yeah while exploring the deep underground levels travelers will need to use a gadget called a lumen stone adjuvant always a new gadget exploration this star gadget will illuminate the darkness allowing everyone to explore even the darkest of places mm. Oh, okay, so that'll make it a little less scary then. <laughs> I, I like Travelers these tunnels. I'm telling you. The Lumen Stone adjuvant to increase its Whoa. capabilities. Doing so will also allow travelers to explore more efficiently and will even grant us a variety of rewards, including a four star weapon billet and an all new name card. Wow. Nice. <laughs> nice. In the chasm, travelers will also discover a brand new artifact domain called the Lost Valley. Inside the domain, you'll discover a mysterious environment as boundless and majestic as the chasm itself. Completing the challenge in this domain will award travelers with artifacts from the Vermilion Hereafter and Echoes of an Offering artifact sets. Mm -hmm. And what would be a new area without some new story content? Yay! In addition to everything we've covered so far, a whole new storyline will be taking place down in the chasm. It's gonna be cool. Nice. With version 2.6, the new Archon Quest, Requiem of the Echoing Depths, will become available Let's for go. travelers Let's to go. continue their adventures. Everyone who's been following the story of our favorite twins will definitely be excited for this one, <laughs> me included. <laughs> <laughs> and if that isn't enough, the one and only Dane Slip will also be making another appearance during the story. Oh, Let's go! Let's go! It's been a pretty long time since we've seen Dane Slip. Yeah, totally. Uh, and yeah. In the storyline, travelers will be meeting up with Dainsliff in the dark depths of the chasm to investigate some ancient ruins together. Throughout the quest, we'll be learning a lot more about Conria as well as the Abyss. It okay, okay, let's go, let's go. Adventure as we will Oops. uncover secrets of the past together. So you're saying it'll be a bit of a cliffhanger? Uh, 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 you're dead. And in addition to the nice, Archon nice. Quest and World Quests, there are still many mysteries that remain hidden in the depths of the chasm. There will be much more for travelers to experience in the chasm with future version updates. So please look forward to that. I know I will. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> but this seems whoa, like a pretty whoa, whoa, good time. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Hold on a second. Zach. Zach? Aether? Are you telling me? That we're going to be in the chasm for multiple updates. I mean, that's great. That's great, honey. That's great. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm not look. This is great. I'm so excited about the chasm. Not looking for it to be like a Inazuma thing where mul there's a new part of the region unlocked every update i'm i'm not no let's not do that we're look sumeru sumeru chasm's great chasm's great chasm's awesome uh i'm not multiple i mean i'm gonna be exploring for a while but i don't know about like we need to i don't know if there needs to be multiple updates in the chasm i'm watching you hoyo verse Got my eye on you for a moment and take in everything we've seen about version 2.6 so far. Yeah, yeah, and get some primo gems. Oh, Woo -hoo, agreed. Yes. Sounds good to me. Get your Ready, your everyone? primos. Mm -hmm. Here you go. Whee! Yes. <laughs> ah, so excited to see Venti. There's a part of me that kind of just thought that we would never see him again. <laughs> Hoiver said, no, he was the first Archon, but we're, we're, we're done with that. Nice. So every single Archon quest, I mean, not Archon quest, every single Archon story quest 
not Venti's included, Zhongli's second story quest. We fought Ajdaha, new weekly boss. I have not gotten to a second story quest, but I know new new weekly boss, uh, new boss with that fighting, etc. as well. So I'm still looking for a second Venti story quest. Are we gonna uh, fight Venti again? Because I'm thinking it would be actually really fun to fight Venti. Just go, here you go. Oh, here we go. And then just chuck a giant cyclone at you. That's the way to do it. So, so I'm looking for that in the future. Excited for that. Welcome back, what, everyone. What is this? What is, what is this face? What is this? Okay, this art. I wouldn't like to call myself a simp. I would never want that. But I, uh, I'm not like, I haven't been waiting for Ayato. That, uh, I wouldn't say I'm a huge Ayato simp, but. Uh, <laughs> What what are you trying to do here? Mahoyo, Hoyo verse? What are you trying to do with this picture? Like this is too much. This is I mean it's not too much. Keep it there all you want. Don't don't mind me. But All right. Nah, that is something else. That is a that is uh that feels like a fan art right there. Like, your official art can't look that good. <laughs> that feels like a fan art. All right. There we go. Next, we'll be introducing a new event for everyone called Hues of the Violet Garden. Ooh. Yeah, that's right. So, <laughs> as we mentioned at the start of the program, there will be a festival taking place in Inazuma. The theme of this event goes hand in hand with the festival being organized by the Yashiro Commission and Yaimiko. With a festival focusing on culture and creativity, travelers will not only have the opportunity to meet guests hailing from other nations, but also so finally see some familiar faces again. <gasps> oh, okay. I'm pretty <sighs> interested to see what Yoimi and Clee are up to. That seems like a pretty interesting combo. <laughs> yeah, me too. I'm just excited to go <laughs> that, around and that's, see everybody. That seems dangerous. What is Ito doing? No. <laughs> what is he ever doing? <laughs> <laughs> well, throughout the event, we will be experiencing some interesting stories alongside those characters at the festival. And there may even be some unexpected characters making an appearance. <gasps> nice. So... Travelers will have Unexpected to wait and see who shows characters. up this time. As oh. we progress through the storyline, we'll have the opportunity to enjoy a variety of Iridori festival games. There are a total of four different kinds of event gameplay, so let's That's so cute. I I mean I mean it could be just like not not filler, but that uh it's this is too cute i mean i uh, i have no problem with this this is just the this is too cute i uh, i have no absolutely no problem with this to uh, you always imagine what the interactions would be like between your favorite characters i see it all the time on social media people trying to figure out what the interactions would be like this is so cute A little crossover event little like, hey, you're not supposed to be here, but you are. Crossover event. I love it. I love it. Ah. Uh, perfect. A uh, wonderful. I'm down. Cuz I that one lantern right cutscene where it showed everyone together. Oh. Like one of my all-time favorite cutscenes. So, so this is just asking for me to to take out my wallet. <sighs> Pay for Ayato or something. Got some wishes saved up. Got some wishes saved up. Let's take a closer look. First, we have the moon and stars inscribe. Travelers will meet a bard from Mondstadt in search of inspiration among Inazuma's unique landscapes. During the event, travelers can gain a poetic theme and take pictures based on the hints to submit to the commissioner. 
The more pictures we supply, the easier it will be for them to compose more lines of poetry. Travelers can then choose the lines they prefer and help complete the composition. All right, sounds easy enough. I'm sure our travelers can handle this one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for sure. Uh, Experienced taking travelers pictures. who are familiar with the map and terrain yeah. will definitely be able to quickly find the best spots for photos. Our next uh, event I'm not, I'm not huge on the pictures. For our audience, it's Theater Mechanicus. I'm sure many of you have already wow. played this game, and this time around there will be some new twist to the game. Komakata is promoting the latest version of Theater Mechanicus, and in such a large international cultural event, there's been some innovations made to attract the attention of the organizers and visitors. Sweet. In the all-new Theater Mechanicus stage of brilliance, each stage will have its own special stage features. Travelers will need to work these features into their strategy to swiftly clear each challenge. What's also different this time around is that travelers will need to equip wondrous sticks before entering each stage. This will be a real test for our ability to make combinations. The game mode has also mm. been streamlined to reduce the amount of time required to play. Upon entering a stage, That's travelers good. will find some mechanicae that have already been placed. You may choose to modify or dismantle them, or build more mechanicae around them to create optimum combinations that will swiftly handle enemies coming your way. Cool. Our third event mode All is right. called Clash of Lone Blades which is an all-new challenge centered around sword fighting. Ooh. After unlocking this game mode, a new duel against a sword master with unique abilities will unlock each day. During the challenge, players will control the traveler and will be unable to use their elemental skill and elemental burst, but instead can use an all-new parry mechanic. Performing a parry oh. will allow you to take a defensive stance and reduce incoming damage. Travelers may focus and master I the dig that. to perform a perfect parry, which will give you the upper hand in the challenge. I dig that. Practice for Beto. It's pretty challenging. I mean, <laughs> I'll dig it. I it's dig it. Also worth Travelers using a different sword in that one. Strongest That's interesting. Or is it just the, is it just the evolved or the, the ascended version of the the dull sword? I can't really tell. This challenge happens to be someone who had no choice but to join the competition due to difficult financial circumstances. It turns out they are just an average store owner with their hearts set on winning that prize money. Who would have guessed you'd find such tough opponents from just in town? <laughs> Travelers should get ready to take on opponents in one-on-one -on -one duels. Uh -huh. and nice, I actually kind of like that. We have an That's actually really interesting because so many things are are just like throw all this shit out there throw elemental burst skill Wha! hope for the best well that's not really how it's like throw it all out there and then you win there is there's really there's not much else to do with that but i actually really like the the moments where you can't use that stuff like the fight the original fight against a when you're like, oh, I can't use any of my stuff. <gasps> Help! Uh, that, and also a parry mechanic. I think that's, that's really nice. That I, a lot of open world games have that. It's pretty common. So it makes sense that we could have one too. And that might use it in further... I, I mean, if they're introducing it now, it's very possible that they could introduce it permanently in the game. Possibly with Dendro coming out new, new things. I don't know if Dendro's coming out. I don't know when Dendro's coming out, but new mechanics in the game. And I actually really like that, that you can't use your elemental skill or burst. And it's just kind of like simple combat dodging kind of brings you back to the basics of the whole thing. Feels like AR, AR1, AR10. When you're when you're just trying to shoot a bow with amber and it's all it's all you can do. Kebana event called the Floral Courtyard. In this event, travelers will need to follow a florist themes to create a specific floral courtyard. A courtyard is comprised of different parts, with each part having different materials to choose from. After completing a theme, travelers may actually use the courtyard they receive and place it in the Serena teapot. Ikebana is an art form, so when travelers are creating a floral courtyard, they need to incorporate their own interpretation of beauty. So what you're saying is, if your courtyard is looking ugly, then you're probably doing it wrong. 
<laughs> mm. Ah, I see you. Oh, uh, speaking of Ikebana, Ayaka is the sponsor behind the Ikebana event. You know, I Ayaka's very skilled at Ikebana. Of course mm. he is. <laughs> you know, she invests in the promotion of this event every year, and that it's one of her greatest joys. Yep, that mm. sounds like Ayaka. <laughs> <laughs> and all right, that's I'm down. about all we can share about this event for now. After participating in all four of these special event game modes and reaching certain criteria, travelers will be able to invite Xingqiu to join their team for free. So, don't forget to try out all the events. Yeah, maybe you'll nice. find a new favorite. Yeah, give him a shot. <laughs> Everyone should be sure to have a good look around. What? So, essentially, that means, like, so they're saying, yeah, maybe try out all the events. Maybe you'll find a new favorite. It's like directly to the people. We're not all doing fighting events. We're trying to spice it up for you guys. We're not fighting hilly churls. So so just try it and try to like it. <laughs> that That's kind of what it feels like. Hoyo versus trying to tell to us like, try it. You might like it. It's not fighting to hilly trolls, okay? We listened. We can listen. Around the festival, the streets of Rito will be specially decorated throughout the Iridori Festival, so everyone can enjoy the lively and exciting atmosphere. Nice. Mm -hmm. I'm excited That's about right. our first Inazuma festival. festival. You won't want to miss. Oh, no. I won't. <laughs> <laughs> Version 2.6 will also be featuring an event for travelers who enjoy spending time in the kitchen. The event is Sumeru? called Spices Sumeru? from the West. In this event, a person from Sumeru is visiting to do research on seasonings. She hopes to find someone who can help her conduct her research by making seasonings according to recipes and taste test dishes using these seasonings. You know... This pot... So... <laughs> I'm I'm drawing this conclusion from absolutely nothing. From from design elements that look similar. This pot look in its like I wouldn't say jade, but it's turquoise yeah, color design looks similar to the and I assume this pot is like Sumeru vibes. It looks similar. You know, the domain that they just showed us in the chasm has two new sets that I actually didn't look at what they what the sets actually were. But the one set was like purpley and the other set looked like this. Very like turquoise kind of jade feeling, but I, I don't know really enough if that's correct. But they looked very similar. So I'm thinking Chasm leads into Sumeru. You go down a hole, you find Sumeru. That, that's my feeling about it. Possibly. Conclusion. Uh, do I know that? No, but this pot looks similar to that artifact set, which is in the Chasm, which this is from Sumeru. So Sumeru. There you go. If there's food involved, I'm sure Paimon won't be far off. <laughs> it's me, Paimon, and I'm hungry! Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> <laughs> all right. New seasoning recipes will gradually unlock over the course of the event, and all the recipes will be available before the event ends. When you begin making the seasonings, the needle on the slider will move back and forth from edge to edge. Mm -hmm. Follow the instructions given on the recipe and press the button as the needle points to the corresponding ingredient to add them to the pot. Oh. And just as a reminder to everyone, there is a limit to the amount of mistakes you can make while creating a seasoning. So be sure to make the best of each chance with as little mistakes as possible. Otherwise, you'll have to start over again. Add the correct number of ingredients before you use up all your attempts and you will succeed. So, Zach, yeah. what you're saying is, for this event, the pressure cooker is on. <laughs> uh, 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 <laughs> I had oh. to, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, gosh. That was good, but it also hurt. <laughs> that was, you know, that was quite fire, as they say. Oh, oh my, oh, please, no. help me. <laughs> uh, All right. But seriously, like, oh, gosh, this Just looks like taking a little hand-eye coordination for this one. Oh, yeah. Totally. The heat is on. 
Oh, no. <laughs> what did I start? Okay, guys. So, by adding seasonings you created to delicious dishes, you can obtain fragrant dishes. Travelers may invite characters to taste test the fragrant dishes in their hey, no. teapot hey, to no. increase their companionship XP. Just keep in mind that the character's personal preferences Please also try this. vary. Oh, okay. That's right. And then <laughs> that's cute. Opportunity to test how well travelers really know their characters. Yeah. Mm. Do a little studying. Totally. <laughs> In version 2.6, we will be receiving a new challenge event called Vibro Crystal Research. We find a researcher from Fontaine on the outskirts of the chasm studying the harmonic motion transmitted between gems known as Vibro Crystals. If we connect transmitter and receiver crystals and attempt to produce various effects, then we can defeat the enemies and obtain great rewards. In case that's a little confusing, why don't you explain what the transmitter and receiver crystals are first and what kind of effects the reactions can make? Oh, right. Sure thing. So after the player oh, it's just a domain. their own vibro crystal setup, they will obtain different combat buffs. Okay. Transmitter crystals govern the triggers for the buff effects, mm -hmm. and receiver oh. crystals will trigger the buffs once the conditions are met. Oh. It just looks like that one... Scientific. <laughs> that one crystal... Uh... Did you pull that out of your sleeve again? He still has boba? I always have boba. <laughs> what? Why aren't you sharing? <laughs> because this is my boba. You can still share. <laughs> we'll see. Oh, kind of reminds me of like that one crystal there. event. <laughs> okay. I can't remember the name of it. Let's get back to it. Okay. So each challenge is split into two battles, which will require travelers to compose two teams for the challenge, as well as different vibro crystal setups. Of course, the game will also provide some trial characters to help everyone complete the challenge. Mm -hmm. Defeating enemies will award points, and travelers will be given an insignia based on their score. It's going to be awesome, so be sure to give it a shot. Yeah, sounds great. Interesting. Mm -hmm. In the new version, travelers will be receiving a commission from an Inazuman artist. She'll ask us to use the camera to take pictures of scenery in different nations as inspiration for her illustrations. Yeah. Seems like the traveler has literally gained the trust of people everywhere. <laughs> that yep. just means they're going to be busy yep. for a very, very long time. Yeah, oh, pictures. Right. I don't really the like the picture notes, ones. We'll be able to see comments from the artist and understand her requirements to complete the photo. Oh, capturing landscapes for inspiration. Sounds pretty elegant. And you would know about being elegant. Uh, yeah, duh. <laughs> this event will definitely be on the more relaxing side of things. What could be better than exploring and earning Primo gems? Oh, yeah. And there you go. And will definitely find a ton of great photo spots to remember in the process. And hmm. finally, in addition to all the events we've already mentioned, Leyline Overflow will be returning once again for version 2.6. Nice. Travelers can watch for future announcements for more details. You definitely don't want to miss the chance to get some more Mora and character EXP materials. Oh, yeah. Yes. All Woo. right. I think that Woo. just about does it for all the events we have coming our way in version 2.6. Yeah, that was Next, like just let's events. Talk about some system updates and optimizations to the game. First, okay. we have an optimization to the game's mobile version. After the update, travelers will be able to tap and hold on the icons of the characters in their party to quickly bring up the party setup menu. Nice. Mm -hmm. So hmm. it'll be way easier for the mobile players to open up their party setup and do some changes. Yeah, totally. Yeah, also, there will be multiple nice, improvements nice. coming to the tutorial's archive system, making it easier for travelers to reference. Oh, cool. Uh, first, the tutorial icon will always stick next to the mini-map on the upper left for new players, making it easier to access the tutorial's archive. Mm -hmm. Plus, players will be able to quickly locate the tutorials they viewed recently, and the system will even remember where in the tutorial you last left off. Finally, in the Living Beings archive, the tutorial button will be adjusted to a more obvious location. That all sounds pretty handy. Yeah. 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 Good stuff. And last but certainly not least, during version 2.6, Genshin Impact will be releasing the second OST album for the Inazuma region, Islands mm. of the Lost and Forgotten. Yes. The album will be comprised down for of that. a total of three discs featuring music from Seirai Island, Watatsumi Island, Surumi Island, and Enkonomiya, as well as some epic combat music. Oh, I'm down for that. Wait. I hope everyone <laughs> will enjoy listening to that gorgeous music. They almost never talk about this. Mm.
They're just like, we never talk about it, so people don't know about it. So you should know about it. Nice. Nice. I did really like that Enconomia battle music. So. There you go. Get it while you can. Ayato, nice. Where are all these half gloves? Getchen has this thing with like half gloves. Do people wear those in real life? For 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 reasons? For swords? For bows? I don't I don't know what you would use them for in real life. Interesting design, though. Genshin really loves it. done come to the end of the version 2.6 special program. No! What? I was just I gonna ask you mm. for some boba. Sorry, you... all gone. I thought you kept so many in your sleeve. What now happened to all, all of my... them? They're in my tummy. Oh. <laughs> you could have shared. <laughs> but, as Ayaka would say, I only wish life could be as leisurely as this a little more often. Oh, I know, right? <laughs> but, hey, it won't be lo that long before the next version drops. That's right. True. So, um, I'm really excited for everything. I'm excited for everybody to meet Ayato. Uh, I'm really excited to explore the spooky chasm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, man, there's a lot of cool stuff coming out in this version. Yeah, I'm also, of course, looking forward to Ayato. I finally get to meet my brother, which is super exciting <laughs> for me. Um, I also am really looking forward to the soundtrack just because, oh, man. The music in this game is so good. Yes. I just, uh, it'll be cool getting to, you know, just chill out and and listen to it. And oh man, I just can't wait. <laughs> yeah. And not only am I excited for the chasm area, but also the story. I'm curious to see what Dainsliff is doing mm -hmm. back and mm -hmm. how uh, the traveler will interact with him. And also. You guys rock this special program. It's been so much fun doing this with you. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, buddy. It was super fun. Yeah. So the new version will be landing on March 30th. Be sure to mark your calendars and be ready to play. <laughs> and we hope everyone will enjoy all that 2.6 has to offer. I look forward to seeing everyone enjoy the festival in Inazuma. Yeah. And just a reminder, travelers can keep an eye out for future official announcements for more information on the coming version. All right, well, that's it for us today. Thanks, everybody, Thank and you. see you in game. Thanks, guys. See ya. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Looks like we will be getting the chasm. Unfortunately, no teaser for Sumeru. I know a lot of people were expecting that or hoping for that, but no teaser so far. Uh, we will hopefully, they kind of implied that we'd be in, in the chasm for a while. But hopefully we eh, there. They just that was that was not a serious thing. And we will get Sumeru soon, hopefully. Hopefully. So we will just have to wait and see on that. But 
the chasm looked super interesting. Dane's left again. Let's go. Let's go. I know people are excited about that. And I will be looking forward to exploring the chasm. A new region. Always a good time. New Archon Quest. Always a good time. This event with all the characters in Inazuma. I mean, what more could you want on that front? And I will be looking forward to sharing all of that with you guys. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. And I will see you in the very next video. Laters.